Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an exciting new frontier in the Minsk and Friends uh, venture. Me and my buddy Geralt here are here to test a new microphone. That's right. Santa Claus was nice to Minsk this year, and I got this new exciting, uh, what you might call it, condenser microphone that's sitting right on my table now that I'm talking into, which hopefully has a higher quality of voice than usually. I'm hoping it'll help me cut down on the audio editing time, which is like my least favorite part of uh, <laughs> doing these Let's Plays. Uh, unfortunately, the, it's setting up this thing hasn't been um, a hitchless effort. One of the big problems was uh, avoiding this thing picking up erroneous noises, and I haven't been able to get it to stop picking up, for example, my uh, keyboard. Like, here's some keyboard tapping for you. Yes, I don't know how well that comes out. And that's basically what I'm testing now. I'm making a little test recording. If I were to perhaps make a, a t trial run of a Let's Play using this microphone. And I thought I'd uh, share it with you so you can also say how the new microphone sounds like. So let's pretend I'm making a Let's Play of Witcher 3 here. And at the same time we'll see how the audio quality is. Like, I'm basically what I'm going to do is not really edit this audio do very minimal editing and then compile the video and see what it sounds like and then judge from you can tell me also what you feel and i'll make my own judgments of what i need to still do to improve the audio quality and my mic setup here so and yeah that's about it so yeah i'm sorry for anyone who was like oh yeah minsk's gonna let's play witcher 3 we're just making a little dip into the world of witcher 3 here i thought it'd be a fun little thing to do a quick quick side quest just a little short jaunt, I need to do a uh, little mic test here. And we are doing a Witcher contract right now. I have here this exciting, I've picked up this bit of news. A Novigrad merchant by the name of Sylvester Armello had hung a notice on the Novigrad board asking for help in tracking down a thieving imp. It seemed the merchant's guild was being pestered by a mysterious creature who kept stealing wares from its members' stalls. Geralt accepted the job. Yes, so we're on a contract to hunt what sounds like an imp. That sounds interesting. And first we need to talk to the witness, who is... This chap here, Sylvester Amello. Hello, sir. Greetings, master. Yes, let's get right down to business. Hear about the contract. Really got an imp problem? Or is that just an imp perfection in the notice? You ought not jest, Master Witcher. I know the creatures are only to exist in fairy tales, yet I saw one with my own eyes as it stole from my stall. Right. Well, first things first. What are, what are we hunting here? What's this thing look like? All right. So what's this imp look like? Like a mean, fat cat, but a very large one. Uh, this tall, see? And it walked upon its hind paws. Oh, did it also have a purple suit and maybe smoke a cigar on its way? Yes, I shall steal these Novigrad stalls and use those funds to stop those rescue rangers. Anyway, yes, actually, what did this possible rescue rangers villain steal? What did it swipe from you? Once it was bread, uh, then a fish, then apples. Might not seem like much, but add it together and the business suffers. And I'm hardly alone in being pestered. It's nicked something from every stand in the square. So, will you teach it a lesson with your silver sword? Now, normally, yes. Once again, we here have an option to haggle a bit on uh, what the reward is if I do this contract. But I'm always nice guy Minsk. I just have to do... I'll just do it whatever, whatever he's willing to pay. So let's do this. Relax. I'll help you. Small businesses are the foundation of a healthy economy, and so on and so on. Thank you, Master Witcher. I don't know if this will be of use, but most recently the thief leapt over that wall and ran into a passageway. It was the last I saw of him and a few of my wares. Huh. All right, then. Yeah, I've been playing this game quite a bit. Mm. It just in November and December, I'm really impressed with this game. Really like it. And these uh, these monster contracts are probably my favorite thing in the game. Because, you know, I mean, it's hard not to think about games like uh, World of Warcraft or others where it's just like, you must bring me these 12 bear asses or just these excuse things. 
Like, even these, like, monster hunting things are super well thought out. You talk to the witness, then you do some crime scene investigation with your superhuman witcher senses, and you track down the monster, and you prepare for the big fight by reading up on what the thing's weak against. It's all really good fun. So, right away, we now have to track down this elusive imp. Let's see what my supernatural abilities tell me. Mm, right, here we go. The monster's been right here. You can see tracks right here. It's also nice you can also see them once the Witcher senses go away. So if you want to be really OP, 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 really OG, you want to try and track these monsters down without using your senses. Come on, disappear. There we go. Like you can... Oh god, I actually can't even tell. Normally you can see kind of these tracks in the ground. I can't see a damn thing here. But uh, let's examine. Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. Wow. Okay. Not what I was expecting we'd be hunting. I read Imp and, well, my first thought was, uh, did the thing climb up here? Yes, it did. My first thought was, um, ooh, a pigeon. Hello, pigeon. My first thought was, of course, a uh, big brown angry looking guy from Doom. Then, of course, I thought about the more classical tiny red guy with a goatee and wings. A big cat. I don't know if I've got the kind of potions and oils and stuff to fight a big cat monster. I don't have beast oil, like what beasts are weak against. Then again, if this thing's smart enough to thieve around, it's no normal cat or lion or whatever. Okay. Oh, that, that's it? We're not going to see what the loot is? Another track. Aha. All right. I guess it wasn't... Important loot. Oh god, does this thing climb? How am I gonna climb this giant wall? So, we had a bit of another slowdown again. That's nothing new in the world of Minsk and Friends. Maybe I should ask Santa for an external hard drive next year. I help. I hear that helps with uh, fraps and uh, the whole slowdown issues, frame rate things. Yeah, things aren't great in Novigrad right now. There's uh, sort of a witch hunt going on. All these people are lining up to get in. They've been lining up for days. Another drifter in from Temeria. Drop down into the moat. Trail ends here. I've only ever read one Witcher book. I read the very first one. Uh, well, it was a collection of short stories, really. Um, what was it called? The Last Wish, I think. Oh no! Oh no! I may have just killed myself. I didn't think this very well through. Now, did I? <laughs> Ah, balls. Did it auto-save before I talked to the merchant guy? I bet it didn't. Well, no, I'm probably gonna leave this one on just for giggles. <laughs> um, so I have only read the one Witcher book, uh, the very first one. It was interesting, I guess. Um, it wasn't what I expected, because it was kind of just like, uh, let's make fun of classic fairy tales. Which is a bit odd. I heard it something a bit more original. Well, honestly, um, this game apparently is based on the books, and it's certainly a bit more original than just let's make fun of Beauty and the Beast. Oh, good. It auto-saved after I talked to whatever his face was, so now we just need to do all that again. Why don't we take the less... Merchant was right. Actually does look like a giant cat. Why don't we take the uh, less direct route this time on our way <laughs> down there, shall we? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Don't know what to say about the series. Mm. I can say I wasn't. This is stupid. I've had the first game for years, at least like maybe four, three or four years, and I've tried several times to start to play it, but it just has a really boring start. Like people always say, you get past the start and the game turns really good. I, I haven't been able to. It just, I don't know, cause it. I'm sure someone will tell me, like, well, that's the nature of the RPG. They have slow starts. I guess you're not a true RPG player. And I don't know what to say. Um, that For some reason, that one just is really unappealing, the opening to that game. Looks like the imp dropped some loot. And I've gotten to, like, you get to the area where you're hunting the... I think it's a bar guest is what you're hunting, or some sort of scary dog monster. I, I don't really... I don't feel it, I'm sorry. But this game is... Really, the moat. Trail ends really here. cool from the get-go. Let me tell you that. Um, 
I mean, the tutorial involves hunting a griffin. That's pretty awesome. Alright, let's take them more casual route, shall we? No, I'm not gonna start looting these someone's house. Ow. Not, I'm not gonna touch these boxes here. Someone might get mad that I'm looting their houses. Let's eat a ham sandwich, because I kind of hurt myself coming down after all. Here we go. Now, hang on a second. What's going on here? Paw prints end here. Boot prints start there. Could it be the puss in boots? Wow, and a cameo by Antonio Banderas in this game? That be that would be something. No, my um my fantasy hunch is telling me we are now my fantasy intuition is telling me we're now after a lycanthrope. Hello. The door is wide open. Interesting. Hello there, madam. Yes, I do. I see I'm looking a man about a cat. Well, this might be someone's house, so I'm, I feel don't feel like I want to start looting this place just yet. Any willy nilly, let's examine a note. Well, well, our imp's at least literate, if not outright educated. All right. Okay, this isn't quite what the, con the contracts normally are like. You always kind of go to crime scene where your monster killed someone, and then you do a bit. Of, it's a bit kind of there. You're doing a bit of CSI here. It is still. It's still very, it's it's very much more, I find it much more enticing than simply some guy being like, Oh, I need the uh, imp blood for my alchemical concoctions. Please go fetch 40 vials of imp blood from the Skargan wastelands or whatever. Damn. My computer just ain't equipped for these modern day games. Well, it can run them, but it can't run them and fraps at the same time by the looks of it. I'm very sorry about all this slowdown. Anyway, let's at least get to that letter so we can read that. It don't matter. The game can load on its own sweet time while I check the Puss in Boots letter. Come on. There we go. Jan, please, cut out this nonsense at once. This might come to you as a surprise, but a giant cat will tend to stick in people's memory. Why don't you pick some other safer form like I did? I've been walking around as a beggar for three years now, and no one's batted an eye. And such earnings. You wouldn't need to steal anymore. So, how'll it be? If you decide on it, I'll put in a word for you with the King of Beggars. That is a uh, local crime lord, for those who aren't initiated into the Witcher lore. Um, Hangs out here in Novigrad. He's, I don't know, all of the crime lords are kind of nasty people, but I guess he's the buddiest with Geralt. Um, till our next writing, Lewis. P.S. Burn this letter once you read it, alright? Whoops, couldn't follow orders, could you, Jan? P.P.S. Yes, I know, I'm paranoid. Man, uh, humor me and burn it. P.P.P.S. If I if find this letter next time I come see you, you owe me a beer. Huh. So it's actually someone who can pick forms rather than merely a lycanthrope. Sounds like a doppelganger to me. Or simply a doppler. A doppler. Yes. Explains a lot and complicates matters. Need a good lead to track him down. Well, I thought this was going to be a short little quest for us to do, but it looks like this is going to be a big operation indeed, hunting down a doppler. I mean, we are talking about a doppelganger, basically. He'd be a guy who, hidden as anyone. That elf right there could be the doppelganger. Oh, and we also got a bestiary entry about the imp. Oh, yes. The, oh, yes, the imp is now this special doppler. We get the separate entries for the contract masters, because they're always named entities, so... The imp pestering the merchants of Novigrad turned out to be a doppler. These monsters usually avoid confrontation. To everyone's great relief, for when pinned, they become extremely dangerous. Fighting them quickly turns into a fight against oneself. Nor to be precise, against a mirror image gifted with one's own strengths and abilities. In a conflict with such even odds, only luck or destiny decides the victor. Oh dang, we're gonna have to fight Geralt himself? I mean, this guy's gonna take Geralt's form and have his abilities? That sounds... That doesn't sound like a walk in a park. Uh, he's weak against... The only thing he's weak against is relic oil. 
question is, do I have that on me? I got a whole collection of oil here. Bingo, relic oil. Let's just... Let's put that on my sword right away. So that I do some extra damage on Dopplers. Um, Alright, we need to find some clue in his house. His, her. Uh, Jan sounds like a woman's name. Some way to track this Doppler down. Mm, should I start looting the house at this point? I mean, it's a known criminal. Won't feel that bad. Ah, the laundry! That's it. No, no, the laundry. The laundry does nothing. Yes, quest relevant stuff is always glowing red, so... This pile of stinky laundry should do. C come on. Come on, Geralt. A woman's blouse, a man's shirt, a child's shoes. But only one bed. Lavender, strong scent. Enough to track him down. No, I guess it is a guy after all. Alright then. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're able to turn into anything and everything, Dopplers. I wonder if, if Dopplers have a sense of gender. Anyway, yes, here's our nice waft of lavender perfume and... Uh, what's this note here say? The gods have heard the land's cry. Its people long wait this over. King Radovid will save the north. I've met that guy. Not all he's cracked up to be. Also a very lousy chess player. He tends to break all the pieces. You like running around, talk to your bloomers. I'm sorry, ma'am. You're quite standing in the open rain yourself there, although it's not really raining. Sometimes the rain effects in this game are a bit silly. Choice. If anything happened to you, we'd go hungry. Huh, this temple guard's doing it. Let me just save a game real quick. Like so, because this might lead to blows. Rare sight. An elf and a guard of the eternal fire having a friendly chance. Oh, they're both Dopplers. Nothing further from the truth. This racist here has demanded to search me for no reason at all. Use a non-human, I need no other reason. Lucky I didn't find anything on you. Now piss off to the woods, go play your flute. That was a good act, Mr. Doppler, but uh... Use is busted. Yeah, yeah, you're a terrible actor. <laughs> that was some pretty bad acting. Really ought to explore other career options. Petty theft, maybe. You dare insult an officer on duty? Let me give you some advice, mutant. Look who's talking. I know you're a Doppler and a kleptomaniac. Merchants put out a contract on me. <sighs> Always the same old shit. Okay, we got a runner. We got us a runner. Hey, wait. This is actually a new one. Normally, the, normally the contracts I have just want to kill me. Up close and personal. Come on, come on, buddy. Really want to see an angry Witcher? Do you? Right, here we go. Here we go. Damn, I look old. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright. Whoa! Easy there, Geralt. First, let's pop Quen. That's a defensive spell. Come on, come closer. Then we start wrecking him. Well, a bit over level for this game. If you do all the side quests, you end up really going ahead of the quest's intended levels. So. Oh. Please, stop. I surrender. Might be able to look like a witcher. That won't make you fight like one. You're donning your skins enough to know what kind of man you are. What you feel. Okay, now here's a big moral choice here. Huh. We can... Interesting. We can be a super nice guy to him, basically. Just ask for favor or just have him leave town or just straight up kill him. Now, the super immoral part of me says I have a alchemical formula called a Doppler decoction, and I would need a Doppler's mutagen. What are they called? Dopp they had mutagen, Doppler mutagen, which I believe I can only extract from a dead Doppler. But I don't recall the Doppler mutagen, or the Do Doppler decoction's effects being very great. Like, that's one thing in this game is I find a lot of the choices of, like, options of spells and. Uh, Potions and stuff aren't so great. I find myself only sticking to a few of them. 
Which, I don't know, maybe is the problem. I mean, maybe other people, for their playstyles, the other things work better, but... Um, like, with these decoctions, I only ever really use the werewolf decoction, which makes it so your stamina never runs out when you run around. <laughs> so, let's just ask him to leave town. Let's take the... middle ground choice. I don't kill him, true. But then not everybody applies my rules, and not everyone's got my conscience. So start stealing somewhere else. Far from Novigrad, preferably. Golden Age of Dopplers ended here a while ago. Oh no. But I thought they'd not catch me. I thought myself too smart. Serves me right. Might have learned this lesson the hard way. Time to go. Somewhere far away. But first, take this. As a token of my gratitude. So long, Witcher. Huh. What did I get? I missed what I got from him. It said for a second there, but I... Oh, okay, now we get it. You've got a pile of cash. Well, thanks. The gnome is clear. And we... Hmm. Got a diagram for a gnome is clear. I... I have no clue what a gnome is, so let me just... Let's go through... Also, one thing I don't like is uh, a lot of the clothes aren't... <laughs> uh, maybe I've just been having poor luck, but I've gotten really stupid-looking clothes. Like, this Bounty Hunters thing was the best clothes for ages, and it just make looks, it makes uh, Geralt look like he has a beer belly, which... Uh... Well, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, because I might be a bit weightist here. Sorry, guys. I... Well, I have a beer, bit of a beer belly in real life, too, but... So I'm not one to say, but... Hmm. But I didn't want Geralt to have one. I wanted Geralt to have something... A bit cooler. And I think the... <laughs> well, first of all, the gauntlets I'm wearing now are the best gauntlets possible, I think. And they make me look like I'm wearing oven mitts. Furthermore, um, my shirt right now looks, once again, really stupid. So I'm hoping I find something cooler later. Ah, the Gui here is a level 40... How high do the levels in this game go? That's insane. Level 42? Because... Because I feel like I'm, like, huge at level 17, but then I look at my quest lists and something's, like, level 32 or something, and that one goes level 42. Well, it'll be a pretty impressive weapon once I get it, I guess. Alright, let's forget about stupid fashion. Fashion Witcher for a second. Uh, uh, it looks alright. Just it Really, the oven mitt gloves is what uh, it really kills it for me, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, sorry, scary thug dwarf. Um, so, no, we just go. Problem solved, imp is gone. I um, guess we can take his word. I think that was a pretty good end to it. it was, this is a very morally gray series, so that was positively enlightening, that choice we did. Oh god, we need to meet him during the day. Was he? And it's like two minutes until nine o'clock. Oh god, please still be here. Come on, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. There he is. Wow, that was like a minute to nine o'clock. Like, I don't know when he was going to leave, but I was getting close because it was almost 9 o'clock, and I bet that's when he would have clocked out. Well, anyway. Problem solved. Convince the imp to go back to the countryside to tangle horse manes and piss in milk, as tradition ordains. And how would I know you speak the truth? No trophy, no reward. Ouch. There better be one. Or you'll feel the invisible hand of the market smack you so hard you won't be able to sit down for a week. In the form of an oven mitt. I'll give you half the agreed sum, no more. And I'll not do business with you again. Well, I can't really. I got money from the Doppler. So I can't really fight him. Does he say anything afterwards? Greetings, master. Oh, he's very positive, after, despite being very grumpy with me as I gotta go. Hmm. I guess it's true. I didn't really have anything to prove that the guy was dead, but uh, I made a fair amount of coin anyway and okay then so that's been my little run of witcher hope you guys enjoyed me doing this goofy side quest here and let me hear what you guys think about the audio quality how my mm, savvy voice what it sounds like to you um i've been watching the uh to the side i've been watching the uh sound wave on audacity it's been a bit spiking occasionally when i get too excited hmm i don't know do I need to turn down the volume a bit, or do I need to do something else? I don't know. Someone can chime in and tell me. But um, for now, um, just, yeah. Tell me what you think. Uh, 
episodes, I still have a patch of episodes um, done with my old mic that will be coming out in January still. The new episode should start with a new mic in uh, February, February, so don't be confused if my voice still sounds lousy or the old kind of lousy in the upcoming episodes. Um, that's just how it goes, and in February I'll have made the, um, any necessary modifications to my microphone setup, and we'll see what the future holds for the Minsk and Friends Let's Play venture and other, what other fun there is in store. So, yeah, thanks for watching, hope to hear from you guys around this, and in any case, stay safe and stay tuned for more fun. Bye-bye!